Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we are going to be looking at the contains selector in jQuery, and we're going to be producing a, a small little application uh, somewhat similar to this. Now, essentially, what we have here is an unordered list with four names in. Now when we type into this box, we have, we're going to have a key up event which is going to return uh, the elements of this unordered list that contain the value that I typed. So for example, if I was to type G, you can see that all of these values are highlighted because they all contain G. If I was to type A, you can see that two of these contain a capital A. If I type a small a, all of them contain a small a, so it is case sensitive as well. If I was to type a capital B, the second only contains capital B, and I continue to type that as well. Uh, the same with something like D. If I was to type ALE, uh, Dale Garrett here contains ALE. So essentially, it's just using the contain selector in a more dynamic way than if we were to just highlight something statically. So it's a good example of how you might, um, you know, maybe order things around depending on what someone types or like in this case pointing out where things are so you could have a small search script I guess. Uh, let's go ahead um, and go over to our text editor. Let's start creating our list and creating our box and then the jQuery code behind it. So we, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is create our unordered list. Uh, if we go ahead and just refresh to blank the page, um, we'll go ahead and create this list. It's essentially just going to be an unordered list with an ID. So the ID of this is going to be names. And inside each element, we are going to create uh, obviously a name inside. So we'll have four of these. And we'll go ahead and place some data inside of each one. So Alex, Garrett, and then we'll say uh, Billy, Garrett, Dale, Garrett and Ashley yeah. okay so now that we've done this we know that the ID of this is names uh, and it looks something like this uh, we're gonna go ahead and inside style.css we're gonna style this so it just looks a bit nicer first of all uh, not really relevant but we may as well so we want the um, list style to be none and that will just get rid of the circles the uh, bullet points and we want to set the padding and the margin both to zero. So we set the margin here to zero. And that just pulls that in a bit. So now let's go ahead and create the. So now we can go ahead and grab the, um, or create rather, the input field where we're going to be typing the names that are going to match the values. So let's go ahead and just create a paragraph here and inside create an input field with obviously the type text and we'll go ahead and give that an ID as well so I'm just going to call this search underscore name so we now have an input field just up here uh, and we can begin to type values into here which will then use the contain selector to search the relevant uh, li or the list um, element okay so let's go over to ext.js uh, now inside here we obviously want to wait for the document to be ready so we use document.ready and inside of here we create a function that we run uh, once the DOM has been loaded. So the first thing we want to do is set an event handler to this search name input field here and what that will do is it will wait, uh, well we're going to be using the key up event handler. So what's going to happen is every time a key comes up we'll be able to retrieve the value contained within this text field uh, and obviously perform the search. So we use a hash ID selector to select a search name, that's search underscore name, and then we bind the key up event handler to this. Inside we create a function which will be the code that runs when every time a key is up inside of this field. And the first thing we want to do inside of this event is actually grab the name. 